Hello my wonderful students, this is Mrs. Darmody and in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, how you can use the Cami, the free Cami Chrome add-on to mark up and annotate a PDF document that I have posted as an assignment and then you'll be saving that document using the Cami software back into our, cl our classroom folder so you can turn it in as the assignment. So first, of course, you need to go to classwork. Uh, and you should have already installed the Cami Chrome add-on. And we'll be scrolling all the way down to our assignment. And we will be opening up the Cami Scavenger Hunt assignment. And we go right down here and we are opening up the document, the PDF document. It's very important when you open this that you tell the computer uh, to open it with Cami. So you can either click on the purple button that says open with Cami or you can click on the down arrow next to uh, the open with and choose annotate with Cami. Once it's opened, then it's time to use the tools. So you'll notice that it shows uh, that you can upgrade, but we are not upgrading. We're using the free version. And it should say, it should have the Google Drive symbol, and it should actually show you the folder where this is was originally posted, which is in our uh, Google Classroom folder. In this case, it's session three, six grade computer class but this would be whichever grade or session you happen to have me for. And then it should say your name here and then the name of the document. This is a fake student name, of course. You can zoom out, you can zoom in, you could share this, you could print this. We're not doing any of that. You could download it, but you don't need to do that. And if you have questions, you can go here. And then of course your initial should be over to the right. Uh, when you are done with this, you will be saving it here. You cannot use the turn in button here. That particular button is only available with the paid version. You will be making sure to save it to your Google Drive into the folder uh, that says the correct session name and class name for whichever computer class you have me for. Um, you do not need to download it or anything else. Okay. So let's begin. So to complete the scavenger hunt below, you will need to be curious and resourceful. You will not need to leave this document once you're in Cami to complete the tasks. Everything you need is right here. Please read the directions for each task carefully. Um, use the markup tool to complete the following tasks. You need to remember to do each of these four bullets. So the markup button is here. It says, mark up the words that start with P in yellow for the tongue twister below. So we need to use the markup. We're going to use the highlighter. And we're going to use yellow. So we want to mark up all of the words that start with P. So P, P. So obviously there are many words that begin with P. And you just need to go through <clears throat> and highlight each word that begins with a P to complete that first bulleted task that is part of number one. And please don't forget to do all of the bullets because I noticed, I've noticed with previous groups of students, sometimes students only do the first task and they don't do the other tasks that are part of number one. All right, so that part is done. Now it says use the box highlighter to highlight the instructions for the scavenger hunt in green. So this is the box highlighter. I'm choosing green. And now I'm going to highlight all of the instructions. See how great that tool is? So you can highlight large groups of text. And of course, these are instructions as well. 
So I'm going to highlight all of those. And you got to remember to highlight all of the instructions in the document. Because that's another thing that I noticed some students forget is many students only highlighted the first set of instructions, not all of the instructions. And all the way down. And this last instruction we're actually not going to do, but we'll put it there. All right, so that's number two. Now it says underline cami in red. So there's the word cami up there. So we want to use the underline tool in red. Um, <clears throat> so we want to oops, highlight the word cami and it underlined it in red. And now it says strike through the word scavenger hunt in black. So we're going to use strike through and we're going to use black and we're going to strike through those words. Ta -da. All right, so that's number one. Now number two says use the comment tool in this document to add your first and last name to the top of the document. So where's the comment tool right here? And I don't know that we need to use a color, but oh yes, for color for the text. So we do want that. So now we want to click on the top of the document and then notice a bubble pops up and you're going to type your first and last name. And now number three says, use the text box tool and write a sentence or two below in blue text. So you want the font color, the text color to be blue and size 24 font about your favorite holiday food. So we're going to go to the text box. We're choosing 24 blue and we're going to click down here and we're going to say one of, oops, one of my favorite holiday foods is uh, turkey. I could eat turkey every day. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now, if I want to undo that, I could, but I'm not going to. Then it says... So that's number three. Number four says use a drawing tool to draw a flower with at least two colors in the box. Now I'm not grading you on your artistic ability. So we want to use our drawing tools and stroke thickness. Obviously that's a factor you want to consider. Um, and I'm going to draw a flower. I'm not very artistic. Okay, so maybe I don't like that. So I'm going to undo it. So remember, you can use the undo if you make a mistake or want to redo something. So I'm going to try it again. And I'm coloring it in. I just want to make sure you know how to use these tools. Then I'm going to use this one. This is my beautiful flower. <laughs> I am not the most artistic, but and that's that. And now I'm going to make a stem on my flower. With a couple of leaves. And maybe I'll color in my flower a bit more. Color in the petals. And there's my gorgeous flower. Okay, so what's next? All right, so that's number four. So now number five says, insert a purple box, a green circle, and an orange line using the shapes tools. So we'll go to our shapes 
and we'll do our purple box. So there's the box and I'm choosing the purple color. So here's my box and a green circle. So I'll choose a green circle. And then an orange line. Okay, so that's number five. And as I mentioned, number six, um, you are not going to follow instruction number six because that is actually no longer applicable because we're saving it a different way based on the upgrade. So we can actually, I believe we have an eraser tool. Yes, so I'm going to erase that. That's okay. All right. Um, I guess it only allows you to erase whatever you've marked up. So now we're done. We've completed all the tasks. So now we want to save. And again, you cannot use the turn in button here because that's only available with the upgrade, which we're not paying for. So we need to save. Um, you can click on save now if you want, just to make sure it's saved. And then we want to save into the session three folder because that's important to make sure it is in fact saved in the proper location. So now we can close this and go back into classwork. And let's, it does, uh, there is a little bit of a delay when you save in Cami. Um, and it, it kind of, causes some confusion. It has caused confusion with me as well. Uh, so you need to give it a moment or two to actually save. Apparently it takes a little bit of time. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Very good. So you can see that it is in fact saved, um, which is great. So now we can view the assignment and then you know that you have completed it. So you can turn it in. It's as simple as that. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful.